are usually given by a barotropic equation of state, uh, P is equal to omega times rho, where omega is usually taken to be a constant, and uh, rho is the energy density, and pi is the viscous pressure. So in Eckhart theory, it's usually taken to have this form here. Uh, pi is minus 3 zeta h, where zeta is the coefficient of bulk viscosity. And again, this usually is taken to be a power law form of the energy density, uh, some constant here times rho to the power alpha. Now, uh, Eckhart theory is not relativistic. Uh, there are some problems with the theory. Uh, first of all, is it, it allows the possibility for superluminal signals. And one can actually see that fairly easy from, from this equation here. Uh, if you switch edge off, then you see that the viscosity is switched off instantly. It's like the usual wave equation. So what you actually need is you need to modify this in some way so that uh, the, the sort of viscous pressure gradually uh, becomes zero, not instantaneously. Secondly, equilibrium states are unstable and uh, perturbations grow. And thirdly, it cannot describe non-stationary effects. Uh, well, one can see that this theory is, 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 is of first order and the equations of algebraic type. Uh, it actually neglects second order terms which are necessary if one wants to solve these problems. In fact, what you actually need for the, for the viscous pressure is you need some differential evolution equations which place the equilibrium and the dissipative variables on the uh, same or similar footing. So the mixed theory that was formulated was the truncated israel stewart theory. Uh, I think this was in the late 60s or thereabouts. Now in this case, uh, the viscous pressure pi uh, obeys the following differential evolution equation that is pi plus tau pi dot is equal to minus 3 zeta x. So there's this additional term here, where tau is the relaxation time for the irreversible process. And what we notice is that for tau equal to 0, it reduces to a cup theory. Uh, this theory is causal and stable. Uh, but there is a problem also with this in the sense that there's pathological behavior at late times. For example, you could get things like the temperature and so forth becoming infinite. So uh, to solve this problem, uh, there's the full Israel uh, Stewart theory. Uh, and in this case, uh, the viscous pressure pi obeys the following differential evolution equation. So there's this additional uh, term here. Uh, and in this uh, T is the temperature. Now, uh, this uh, uh, theory works well, but uh, it's based on uh, 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 the derivation where there are just small deviations from equilibrium. Now, uh, it may not hold during early inflation, also when dealing with dark energy, because then one can expect large deviations from equilibrium. So, uh, how can one take this into account? Well, um, okay, uh, the, the, the full uh, Israel Stewart theory is only about causal. It relies on small deviations where uh, the, the viscous pressure is much smaller than P. Uh, and as we said, this may not hold during early inflation and dealing with dark energy. So it was extended by Martins and Mendes uh, to include nonlinear effects. And this is the new equation now. Uh, which allows for uh, large deviations from equilibrium. And here now, there's an additional uh, term here where tau star is a characteristic type for nonlinear effects. And again, uh, you recover the, the linear uh, for Israel Stewart theory for tau star equal to zero. Now, uh, generally, these equations are sort of difficult to solve in general. Um, and um, what uh, we wanted to do, and this is some work that I did with uh, Giovanni Acquaviva, who was a postdoc with me for a while, he's also going to talk about uh, the effects of uh, viscosity uh, on, on matter perturbations uh, on, on Thursday. Uh, but what, what we would like, I'm just saying, I think he's not here now, but he gave a very nice talk just now 
where he gave a, a, a nice description of what one would expect when you're doing a phase plane analysis of a cosmological model. Firstly, you would expect early inflation, and this needs to correspond to a source, an unstable node. Secondly, you need the radiation and matter-dominated errors, uh, and these would correspond to transient uh, saddle points. Then finally, you would need a, a, a currently, well, I shouldn't say finally, but you need a currently accelerating phase. Uh, and this may or may not last forever because we don't know what's going to happen after that. So this could possibly be a stable attractor or a sink. So we wanted to see uh, if we could achieve this with uh, uh, this full uh, nonlinear viscosity. So, uh, uh, and, and this is one of the references. There's also another article in 2015 in classical and quantum gravity. What we did was we considered a mixture of dust and a viscous fluid. So we carried out a dynamical system analysis of this. Uh, and in order to do that, we introduced these new uh, 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 expansion normalized variables, uh, omega and pi bar. Uh, these are the uh, equations for uh, uh, these two uh, variables. And uh, we, I'll, I'll just show one, one picture here of the, the kind of diagram that we get here. So, so this is the sort of source that we were talking about. Then this is like the intermediate stage. And, and well, I shouldn't say source, but this is like the corresponding to the radiation dominated era. Uh, and, and this is like a sink. I uh, see this green area here corresponds to, to accelerating uh, solutions. So this model has some desirable features. It starts off at a source, which represents a radiation-dominated error. Then it passes through a transient saddle point, uh, P not D, the matter-dominated error, when structure formation can take place. And then finally, it ends up at a possible sink, which represents the currently observed expanding state. OK, the one thing missing here is, is uh, primordial inflation. But the thing is that there's quite a few parameters uh, uh, in the theory. So, uh, you know, I'm quite sure that with some sort of suitable choice of parameters, one should also be able to generate uh, 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 primordial inflation as well. Okay, now the the next thing that I want to talk about is a, a, a um, sort of a recently formulated theory uh, by Visconzi et al. And this is actually a first order formulation of viscosity. But these authors claim that even though it's first order, it is causal and the equilibrium states are stable. Now, I was hoping actually to be able to kind of do a dynamical or phase plane uh, analysis on this as well. But uh, there is some problem with one of the variables, and I'm talking to a few people about this. But I haven't been able to, 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 to get the uh, phase plane analysis of this yet. So what I'll do is I'll just talk a little bit about some solutions that we found here in this theory. Uh, so in this theory, this is the uh, uh, modification of the energy momentum tensor. Uh, there is this dynamical velocity C here, which is given by this UA is the four velocity. And this specific enthalpy of the fluid is given by rho plus P over mu, where mu is the rest mass density of the fluid. And this is conserved along the fluid flow lines given by that equation. So if you look at the robinson walker metric, then we get um, this equation here and this one. And if we write down the corresponding equation that we need to analyze, this is like the rate other time equation. Uh, this is uh, the analog of the energy conservation equation. Uh, and uh, OK, okay if, if one looks at what the pressure is modified by, it's modified by this. And this is given by this function here which involves this F. Uh, OK, so what, what we did was uh, we found a few solutions for this by assuming a linear equation of state P is equal to omega rho. Now, the thing here is that one could also consider uh, a, a, a situation where omega is not constant. In other words, a variable equation of state. And also, I'll, I'll put this lambda here because, again, uh, lambda can also have a dynamical degree of freedom and be a variable. Uh, okay, uh, and, and this function f, uh, if you take the 
equation of state is given by, by this uh, 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 here. And it's actually this A cubed here, which is uh, the problem when one wants to try and set it up as a dynamic system. So I'll just list a few solutions. Uh, firstly, uh, a power law solution with k equal to 0, lambda equal to 0, and omega equal to a constant. That's that solution. Then, uh, now in Eckhart theory, as well as in the other theories as well that I mentioned, you find that you get a simple exponential solution uh, of this type here. Now, if one looks at whether similar solutions exist in this theory, what one finds is that you don't actually find uh, a solution because it turns out that in that case, the, the viscosity is zero. So, the, so there isn't just a simple uh, exponential solution like there is in the, in the other theories. But you can, if you consider, for example, omega, uh, or if you introduce, say, a uh, lambda which is uh, variable, then you can find, for example, there's a power law solution here. And you can also find uh, 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 an exponential solution as well. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, here we are. And you can also find uh, uh, an exponential solution here as well. So uh, we're currently uh, looking at this. Uh, the other thing is that the temperature law here, uh, it's not very clear. It's not very clear whether the temperature law here is well behaved as well. That may also have pathological behavior. And then uh, I mentioned that uh, you're looking at a dynamical system analysis, we need to define new variables. And it would be nice to find more interesting solutions. Actually, uh, what happens here is you can actually uh, find some solutions using Mathematica or Maple. But it turns out that the solutions are actually very complicated. Um, and in, in, in the very simplest case where we just looked at uh, uh, the first situation here, uh, where we took, uh, if you just take k equal to 0, lambda equal to 0, and omega equal to a constant, it turns out that you look at a solution, but the solution runs like over three or four pages. And it's not very interesting. You can't actually know much with it. So that's why we were searching for these uh, simple solutions. Uh, then uh, it will be invest interesting to investigate in more detail the relationship of this to the other theories. And although it looks very simple, but when you analyze it uh, more deeply, uh, it's probably not so simple. And then the other question as well is that these authors have claimed that in all the applications that they've looked at so far, it's uh, causal, but in general, uh, that's still, I think, an open question as to whether it really is causal. Okay, thank you. What do you like, whether it's a relativistic or? Yeah, relativistic. <laughs> and you know, you want, uh, for example, like no superluminal signals and things like that. People have considered various possibilities, you know, uh, the normal, normal possible in Eckhart theory is that they take it to be a linear function of the energy density. So it may not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be a linear in H. I mean, the, can you construct something like a Newtonian type limit of, of this theory and, and say that it's equivalent to a fluid? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Despite the fact that it's linear? But uh, well, as I said, in, in general, it doesn't have to be linear. Yeah, but I'm saying in your case. Uh, which the one to one for interest. The one, the you, the one that you're interested in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. The authors have claimed that it, is, that it does have a Newtonian limit. And I think in one of the papers, sorry, I didn't put the references. Uh, in one of the papers here, uh, I think in this one here, I know, this one, yeah. uh, they look at the Newtonian limit. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.